Greetings, Internet, and welcome to Turn 8 Gaming's landmark video series, Beta Virgin. We are in the beta now. Beta has begun for landmark, and I do mean landmark. It is no longer EverQuest Next landmark, as it used to be called. If you watched our alpha videos, you would have seen that. Um, they dropped the moniker for EverQuest Next because it sounded a little bit too much like fantasy, I guess. There was some confusion about it. And, of course, they're still making EverQuest Next as well as the next game. So when you call them both, it sounded like the games were a little bit too linked. Uh, but they're really going to be separate games, so they just dropped it. It's just called Landmark now. So, we're in Landmark, we're in Beta. Beta started a couple of days ago. That means new characters, everything got wiped. Gotta start brand new. So here I am, here's Naya, as you can see on my screen right here. Who is my alpha character, who I am kind of recreating. Um, this is the character creation screen, so if you're going to get started in Landmark Beta, which is what this video is all about... Uh, you're going to have to make a new character, so I'm going to show you from the start. Now, there's not a whole lot of options here. Um, there's a couple different hairstyles you can choose from, a couple different um, face options you can pick as well, but it's really kind of limited right now because we're starting in beta. This is going to improve over time, of course. In fact, probably, I'm going to guess, if you're picking a female character like I am, they're not going to give you a facial hair thing. Just a guess because it doesn't do anything. Well, look at that. All my facial hair. Nothing. So, there's Naya, and I made her real, real quick, and then I'm going to hit Create. Now I'm going to get this select a server screen. Now, in the alpha, and I imagine um, later in the beta, hopefully, um, it's not going to matter really which one of these you pick. Uh, and I will show you why in the in a moment. But for now, because I happen to know that Opie is on Rebellion, um, I'm going to pick the same server that he's on. So if you have friends that are already playing, at least as of this, this video being recorded, um, please do select the same server. Uh, it's probably just a glitch, but you're supposed to be able to transfer between them. So I've picked Rebellion, and I am loading right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when I get in there, I'm going to start in the Portal Spire area. It's uh, the hub, central location. I believe they're calling them Ley Lines now. Um, and they're going to be adding more throughout, but we'll, we'll get into that later. So here it is. This is the Portal Spire. And you can see kind of down on my screen there. I'm near a portal spire, must be a way before I can do any building, blah, blah, blah. So I can't do anything right now. But what I can do in the portal spire is walk up to this big glowing crystal in the center of it. Um, and then before, let me show you my little screen up here. You can see kind of faintly, I'm trying to pick some blue skies so maybe you can see a little bit better. Uh, I am on, I'm Naya, I am on the Rebellion server, and I am in the estuary island or continent and you can see right there it says tier one it's really really faint right now and i'm not sure what they're going to do with that in the future but for now that's what you get so this is not where opie is so clicking on this big old gem in the center you bring up this list now normally <clears throat> you can pick any of these servers from the list on the left hand side and then pick any of the continents and transport them too now when we tried to make this video the first time it didn't work I started in a different server, and it wouldn't let me transfer. So, for now at least, it seems that you have to be in the same server. Um, I'm sure they will fix that relatively shortly. But, Opie happens to be in Barrier, which is a Tier 1 environment right here, which I'll get into what those mean in a moment, but I'm going to confirm that. And I'm going to teleport to it. So what are all those continents? What are the islands? <clears throat> They're just different land masses that you can build out your claim on and put some stuff in there. So it's just different spaces. Again, it's for... Um, Similar to the whole islands and uh, uh, servers in the first place, it's for population control. So they can have the same sort of um, setup uh, repeatedly, and you don't get too clustered with too many things to see. So let me bring up my map here. And this is the island that we are on. So you get this little box space here, and you can see all these flags or claim flags. Um, this one has quite a bit of them in there. It's because this is one of the newer areas, as you can see. We have snow. So let's talk about the biomes while we're here real quick. Uh, this is a tundra area. You can see it's got this kind of tundra grass thing. There's snow right here. Um, there's mountains there. And off in the distance there, I think that's going to be old growth forest. So those are kind of the two new ones. So all my trees disappeared because I'm getting closer. There we go. They popped in. Um, and you can see that they're kind of old and big tall pines. They're sort of, uh, I don't know, reminiscent of like sequoia, like redwood forest type of deal. Um, and they're very large. The other two, which were ones in there from the beginning, were desert and sort of a jungle-y kind of thing. They had more jungle type of trees, but it wasn't all that densely populated. When you think about a jungle, you'd think probably more trees than what they actually have, but hey, whatever. So see these old growth foresty trees? They got like little faces in them because they're all old and gnarled and whatnot. Kind of cool. So anyway, 
those are the different biomes that you have to choose from at the moment. They're going to be adding more. They're going to be adding caves. Uh, there's going to be water areas, lakes, and all that kind of stuff. That's going to be coming in in the beta. So if you're in closed beta now, you've got that to look forward to. But for now, these are your only, your only options. So let me get back here. So I'm going to start off, as you can see on my screen down at the bottom, we have a stone pick, a stone axe, uh, and an add tool. Those are the default things that come on there. So I'm going to bring the stone pick up in my hand. And I'm going to start hitting the ground. And there, look, I'm getting snowballs. Because I'm in the snow area. I go to my little loot tab on the chat screen, and you can see I have received snow, I've received ice, and all that sort of thing. So that's actually how you do it. This is what you do. So if you play Minecraft, it's probably very similar to that, but if you haven't, um, it's a little bit different than, you know, your normal regular mining in any kind of other MMO, because you're actually affecting the ground. You're stealing the voxels from it. Now, they'll heal back over time, but you can see what you're doing. You can get snow this way. It's pretty neat. As you can see, it's a relatively sn uh, slow. I almost said snow again. Snow process. It's <laughs> relatively snow process. Um, because I have kind of a junk. What I, is that thing? I don't know. He's got the... Um, so, that's a quick little thing. You'll see that later. That's a pulverizer. Huh. So, pulverizers are a tool. Um, well, I might as well talk about it now while we're at it. But uh, it, you do not actually get the materials from it. So, it just helps you destroy things. So, if you want to plow through something real quick, as you can see, this is kind of slow. If you want to dig a hole... You get a pulverizer, uh, and it just lets you blast through it, but you do not get any of the stuff. Like, you can see me getting snow and ice right now. That's pretty cool. So, let's talk about this while we're at it. Um, Opie and I are standing right next to each other. We're both kind of hacking in the same area. So, we're both kind of uh, not really working against each other, but he's getting stuff, and it's working for him thing. I'm getting stuff, and it's separate. So, I'm going to right-click on his name. You can see this screen that came up here. There's Opie waving. <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to, first I'm going to add him as a friend. Deny. And he's going to deny it because he's a jerk. And now you can see my friend's window. I have Arcana in there. So that's very simple mechanics as you would expect. I'm going to right click again, invite to party. And now we're in a party. So what does that mean? So if I start digging, nope, he's doing nothing. You can see that going on right now. Now watch his screen. Which I will show you. Yep. You can see right there, I'm getting... Snow. And some ice. And some ice. And so is he. Yes, I am. So that's new as of end of alpha, or beginning of beta, party chat thing. So um, that means that we can share resources to a limited amount. You know, it's not 100%, but you can see I'm getting snow and ice as well now. Yeah, how much are you actually getting right now? I like uh, just got 18 snow, 18 snow, 3, 14, 9, All 9. Right. So you're getting the exact same amount I am too. Like okay. It's I thought it would be percentage, but and apparently it just doubles I it. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be, so I wouldn't rely on that one continuing that way. Gotcha. But if you see on your party screen here, right on the left, this little icon right under Opie's name, or Arcana, um, that little party thing, in fact, if I mouse over it, this is a party member within range to receive harvesting bonus and split harvesting resources with you. So if we go too far away from each other, that's going to disappear, and then we're going to be back to basically if we were on our own. I'm going to you know, mine my stuff. He's going to mine his stuff. So now we're in the game. What do we do? Well, now I can hack into the ground. I can get some snow. Um, so what? What does that mean? Well, let me click on um, my inventory. I'm going to hit I to bring that up. Um, and I am going to find my stone. Actually, first thing I'm going to do is put on my tech commander gear. Yay! So there I am. That's my stuff. I got this because I'm a trailblazer, so I'll get my neat little outfit that way. So anyway, now let me find my... Um, oh, you know what? I can't find it because it's in my hand. There we go. There's my stone pick, and you can see the stats of it. So what you can see down there is it says, Allows mining of copper, a gate, as well as dirt, ice, and basic stone. Um, ice also means snow because we just got both of those things. So it's really it's a tier one. Uh, and that is... Your starting thing is only going to be tier one. And what does that mean? Well, the, the the way the game is set up, at least right now, is that all of the different minerals, materials, even the plants and the trees, are tier-based. And you need a better version of a pick or an axe to go out and gather. They're also going to be adding um, sickles for harvesting plants and a bucket for harvesting water uh, and other things like that, including lava, because you can harvest lava, as you know. Yes. You should not use a wooden bucket, though, because that will not work. Use a wooden bucket to harvest lava. No, they actually <laughs> said that will not work. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so you have to gather items to build things. So you can kind of see right there in the background, Doss there, I'm going to show you right there. Um, 
He's building something, we already did a video on this, and he's already made some changes to it. Um, but you can see up there, there's Hoth. Yep. Some at, -AT walkers, some snow speeders flying around. Um, so that's the kind of stuff you can build. So how do you do it? Well, you need the materials, like I said, and you're probably going to want to get um, a better pick, but you need a claim. So while I'm here on this thing, you can see some of these little crafting stations. Every portal spire is going to have a default crafting station. They're going to have a forge like that. This is um, a thing for mail. So when you're saying it, sending in-game mail, that'll show up in a mailbox. You can also make one of these. Actually, you can make all of these on your own claim. Um, this is a saw table for um, doing workshop stuff. Uh, and then finally, this little thing right here is if you happen to be one of the trailblazers or a um, explorer, you had a pack of items um, and you lost some of the items either through whatever purpose so you can click on this thing um, and it'll retrieve them for you so this says you are unable to retrieve founder pack items because I already have all of them so that's what those four things are so let's go back to the stone forge here or actually I'm sorry basic forge and you can see there's a different pick so we you start with the stone pick it takes one dirt to make it so if you ever need to remake it you can do that copper picks your next deal uh, and you probably want to do this first that's the first thing you want to go for really and it tells you exactly what you're going to need. You need copper ingots, 10 of them. You'll need elemental copper, which is a rare form of copper when you're mining in the ground. You'll just get those. Again, you need 10 of them. You'll need a gate, which is a gem, the starting gemstone. If you remember from the stone pick, it says we can get those. You need 20 of those. And then you need heartwood. Now, heartwood is, as it says right here, strong wood found at the core of common trees. So if you go up with your axe, your stone axe, which you also start with, and start hacking away at a tree you will get heartwood from it. One guaranteed, maybe two, maybe three. So you don't get a whole lot, but you only need 15 of them, so it's not that much. Yeah, you'll probably get two per tree, typically. You know, yeah. one guaranteed and one random one in there. At usually. least at least in the start of beta. That's something yeah, that's yeah. all of these things. Everything here is all, of course, subject to change. So, you know. Yep. So ingots, you don't mine ingots out of the ground. You have to actually do those. So if you see this metal drop down here, this is how you make a copper ingot. You need 100... Um, copper ore to make one ingot. We need 10 ingots, so we need a thousand copper ore. That's the basic deal. Um, there's also an upgraded axe, which is a tin axe, but as you can see here, this requires elemental tin and tin ingots. And if I scroll down to the thing, tin ingot, of course, a hundred tin ore. Now the problem is with that, you can't actually mine tin with your basic stone pick. It's not one of the options. All you can do is copper and the few things that it says. So I'm going to go out, we're going to try and find some things and show you mining of that. Well, why don't we just start with, I guess, trees, because they're right here. Sure, why don't we do that? So I'm going to switch to my number two item here. Bring out my stone axe. Ta-da! Chopping down a tree, lumberjack style. So you can see the the trees have a health bar at the top. They're different than us. You saw us mining in the ground where it just kind of takes stuff away. Trees are not made out of voxels. They're just kind of props. So they'll do this kind of uh, health bar deal until you get down to the bottom. In which case, when that happens, they explode like trees do. Hooray! Into I tiny little bits. <laughs> That's uh, part of that. And then right now, you see sometimes you get a little phantom hacking uh, going on, which is in beta. But you can see right there. I've got heartwood um, from chopping down the tree, so I'm going to do... Uh, I'm in some guy's claim right now, so that's a good thing to bring up. Right here, you can see these claim things. Uh, these pop up when you walk into somebody else's claim. If you like what you're doing, go ahead and hit that button on the side. You can give them thumbs up. Um, you know, it gets people motivated and that sort of thing. But when you're in claim, you can't harvest. So I could not go and steal trees from that guy's claim because they're part of his property. So now that I'm outside of it, I'm going to go to this little bit bigger tree. And, of course, it takes a long time. Yes. Now, that's the problem with your basic items. They're going to be the slowest. They're the worst in the game. So there's no leveling in this game like you would see in any other kind of MMO or RPG type of thing. You don't get experience. You don't level up. You just get better tools. And the only way to get better tools is you make them. So you have to get the materials from harvesting. You bring them back to those things. Uh, you know, the crafting stations, either at the portal spiral or when you have your own claim, you can make your own. And then you build them. That's how you get leveled up, per se. 
So I'm just going to do this one more tree here because it does take a long time. Yeah, this is ridiculous. I hate these stone uh, axes. <laughs> so Opie and I are both trailblazers. We do not actually have to use these things. We have special ones, um, but I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> yes. It's, uh, it's painful. Come on. Gonna make it. So when you first start off, um, this is kind of an interesting point, I think, because I think with this size tree that I have here, you're probably only going to get two pieces of heartwood out of it. But um, this little tree right here, probably going to get two of them out of this one as well. Yeah. And it hacks through a lot faster. So I would recommend certainly looking for these little ones first. Agreed. Saves you a lot of time. Um, you only need 15 of them to make your first pick to at least get the upgraded pick. So you got to find 15 of these little trees at a maximum. Probably less. You're probably looking at more like 10. Uh, and it takes a lot less time to actually hack through these. So that's my first tip of the day. All right, so I'm done doing that because that takes a long time. Mm -hmm. And we cheated and we already have some of this stuff later. So here we go <laughs> with this. This little patch of fun right here is copper. So if I switch back to my pick, start hacking into the ground, I'm getting dirt, and they're copper ore. Now, all the minerals, or that, minerals materials, <laughs> stones, <laughs> um, are uh, kind of like rare elements. So instead of just the dirt being in the white color, you can see the copper has a different color on your screen there. Um, just to help you know what you're getting. Uh, and if you get the elemental copper, which I haven't actually gotten one yet, um, yeah, it'll come up as a different color so that you know that's, like I said, the rare version of copper. Uh, and you need a few of those to make your first pick as well. It's just a random drop out of any other copper mine, so... Yeah, and usually... There we go. Oh, yeah, I got one. There we go. <laughs> so you see that comes up in a different color. Very easy to see. Uh, and that's how you do it. You just kind of hack through the ground like this. You dig yourself a nice big hole that you fall into. Uh, you get a whole bunch of copper. And really, you always want to do the whole vein because often these copper or any kind of uh, metal yep. uh, veins uh, evolve into other minerals. Like there could be tin or there could be a gate actually attached to this and deeper underground. Exactly. So you um, want to just keep going until you don't see anything at all. And that is actually likely to be um, something that's going to be more and more likely eventually. Um, so in the start in Alpha, a lot of the materials were right on the surface. Uh, in fact, pretty much every single one of them you could find. It didn't start that way, but they changed it because they wanted people to build. But as the game progresses, in order to give it some kind of level of challenge um, and not have everybody just have everything accessible to them at all times, they're going more and more towards this style. So right now we have tears. Um, I think we're getting to the end of it. No more copper. And we didn't find anything else. That was just copper. There's still a little more. Okay, so I'll let Opie keep hacking away at it. Yay! Um, yeah, so right now they have different tiers, and that is for the tiers of metal. So I mentioned before, um, right now, let me see if I can try and find a better way to see it. There you go. I'm on barrier, and it's a tier one. So tier one means it's only going to find some of the lower level materials. Not just copper. You'll probably find iron... Um, you'll find tin, like right here actually, is iron on the surface, um, which is part of like a tier one thing. And these are your basic things. Now, I can't do anything with iron with what I have, so you'll hear that little sound, and you'll see that thing, I can't harvest it. Um, same goes with tin. If we found tin in that copper vein, you wouldn't be able to do anything with it. But nope. um, right now, so all you're looking for is copper, and metals in general, you're going to see some kind of funky... Um, textures to them. So you see this kind of like wavy, um, bubbly texture for uh, iron. You saw it with the copper. It's that kind of way. Um, those are relatively common. You'll also see for things like silver, gold, Yeah, I cobalt. think I have there's some, a gate right here, actually. Pretty sure that's um, a gate. Or is that no, tin? that's aquamarine. So we probably won't be able to do that nah. as well. That's an aquamarine. Um, so any of the gemstones, a gate, aquamarine, uh, emerald, ruby, all those kind of things, they're going to have kind of a crystalline-looking texture to them. And, of course, there's a color associated with them. When you get used to it, you'll see the colors. Um, unless you're colorblind like me, in which case it takes a little bit of time. Ha-ha! <laughs> Yay, thanks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what a jerk. But, uh, yeah, texture-wise, you'll see the difference of it. So this, this is a gate right here. Yeah, there we go. It's a like, it's like goldish color, but yeah. like a muted gold. And the gate is actually one of the... Um, 
things we need for the uh, copper pick. For the copper pick, exactly. And you don't need much. You, you need very little a gate. So, like, one mine like that is more than enough just to make the pick. Yeah, so let me bring up my uh, inventory here. I clicked on this other tab, which shows you all of your um, materials that you've gathered. So I've got 611 copper ore, which means I could make um, six copper ingots. I need a, a thousand, but we have it, so I'm not going to bother. Um, somehow, oh, that's dirt. Okay. <laughs> for a second, I was like, somehow I have a, a thousand obsidian. No, so that's dirt. Um, dirt you really don't need for most building things, but you can use it in your claim. To, yeah. You know, bases um, or yeah, yeah and it, it, it's a really good idea to actually start with some dirt and just kind of template things out because it's the easiest thing to find, and yeah. then you can always change it to stone or whatever you want later. Um, a gate where you can see I've already got fifty of them, so we only needed twenty. Correct. Uh, and burlwood logs we didn't need, but I did need palm hearts or heart, heartwood. I'm sorry. Uh, so I have four of those. Uh, stone, and, or I'm sorry, stone, snow and ice, and then elemental copper right there. You can see these are down at the bottom. So those are the rare ones. So a gate, a gate, as I was trying to say there, um, is a little bit different than most of the other uh, gemstones because it doesn't quite have that crystalline look to the top of it. It really just kind of looks smooth. Smooth, yeah, exactly. It's got that goldish kind of muted gold color. So this is gonna be copper again that I'm hacking out through here, um, but buy. it's gonna have a smooth top to it. Um, but your other ones that you start finding, they're going to look kind of like, like I said, the crystalline. They're not going to come out of the ground and be spiky crystalline, but they're going to look sort of like a, yeah, I'm going to go with stained glass that's all the same color. So it's got like big, large uh, lines that go through it, um, and they're not going to be kind of bubbly like the copper is here. Um, other metals that you find, silver, gold, uh, cobalt, those things are going to look um, kind of crinkly, is the way I'm going to describe those. So they're <laughs> going to be the colors of what they are, but they really kind of look like, uh, a better way to describe it, I think, is maybe like colored tinfoil. Yeah, that's good. I like that, yeah. Laying on the ground. So it'll, like I said, it's kind of crinkly. Like if tinfoil was kind of crumpled up and then you smooth, you tried to smooth it back out again, but you didn't do a great job. But then it happened to be a particular color, and obviously you're going to get silver for silver, gold, cobalt is blue. That's how they're going to look. Um, so what we got, we have enough, basically enough stuff here, and we've done a few things. So we're going to do this kind of trade thing here, if Opie stops running around. So when you right-click, I'm a jerk. <laughs> when you right-click, uh, I can kick him from the party, but instead I'm going to start trade. I will accept. Uh, and Bling. that's the easiest way to do it. And then you can hit I, bring up your inventory. Now, I'm not trading with him. He's trading with me because I've already given him a lot of stuff. So we're going to kind of blaze through this sort of quickly. Alrighty, so now I got all my stuff back. Um, I actually, so what happened there, why we went through and fast-forwarded through all that kind of stuff is I've already had a character, I made a bunch of things, gathered a bunch of this stuff, but I deleted my original character for you guys so I can show you the character creation screen because you only get one character, at least at the moment. So, um, bit of a tip while you're in that kind of thing, if you're doing the um, screen for uh, trading and that kind of thing, if you hold down shift when you try and trade an item, a stack of items, that's how you break them apart. Um, if you want to do a maximum stack right now for trading is 10,000. So you can't do really more than that. If you try and do it, it won't let you. And uh, also, for some reason at the moment, the zero on the number pad does not work. <laughs> yeah, that's bizarre. <laughs> doesn't doesn't like it when you do that one, but you can use the zero above your keys on the keyboard. Yes. So if you use the like horizontal one, you're fine, but the number pad zero, it is not a fan of. So that's a little weird. So what I'm going to do here, you're not necessarily going to have this, but I'm going to do it for my own benefit. Um, I have a few items like this Mastercraft bracer that I'm going to wear um, because I got them from being in the Trailblazer dealie, and I want to use them when I'm going to craft something. So if you put, hit H, you'll bring up your hero screen or your character sheet. Um, that's why it's H for hero. Doesn't make a huge lot of sense when you're thinking character sheet, but hey, whatever. 
So you can see I just put those things in my inventory. I just right-clicked on them and they came over here. Gives me a bonus when crafting, but um, yeah, you if you're just starting the beta and you have um, either something from like the what was it, Game Magazine, uh, Gamer Pro, or whatever it was, or you're getting a key from somebody else who also happened to be a Trailblazer or an Explorer pack. Um, well, no, Trailblazers is when we had a key. You're not going to have those items, so don't worry about those. So here's my copper pick. Um, you can see I have all of the elemental copper I need, I have all of the gate I need, and I have more than enough heartwood as well, but I don't have any copper ingots. As I said, that's because you actually have to craft them, so I go down to metal, hit copper ingots, I have enough... Um, I have 6,000, so I have more than enough. I only need to make 10 of those. So once again, I'm going to hit 10. I'm going to not use the number pad for the zero because it doesn't like it. I'll yeah. start crafting. You can see Opie over there already crafting away. Ha ha. And keep in mind, you don't want to turn all of your copper into ingots like you do in like other MMOs. Because if you base copper can be used for building. Ingots cannot. Ingots are only for crafting. So uh, keep that in mind. Don't yep. just like turn them all into ingots just because you want to. Very good point. So now you can see I have it. I got enough. I'm going to craft my copper pick. As am I. Bloop. So there we go. Copper pick. Hooray. Now I'm going to go into my inventory. As soon as I close out of that screen there. And I'm going to see I have this copper pick right here. So as you see, it's a superior pick. Now that might be, you might make those. Those are random. You might notice make a regular one. You might make a superior one. Um... I got exceptional, so... Okay, you might make an exceptional one, which is going to be a blue one, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, and then there's also legendary, which yeah. will be like a gold. You can even make, unfortunately, like bad ones. Like I've gotten, I think in, the, in Alpha, we got like slow picks that were just yeah. actually worse than the normal versions. So sometimes you may actually want to make more than one of these picks just because if you if you want to get something that's good. Yeah. Um, I, I wouldn't be as concerned about it for the, the very first pick you make but as time goes on as you get higher picks it's probably a good idea absolutely so you can see here's the stone pick and it's got stats 30 50 45 um and if i move over to my copper pick i've got a 34 for harvesting 55 which is only five higher for the speed um but instead of 45 harvesting styles i have 71 which is good not great it's good now opie's stats Yes, are a little better. You know, my harvesting damage is 43. Harvesting speed is 75. And the size is 84. So he obviously got quite a bit better one. So that happens. But then you can also see when I look at this pick, um, it allows the mining of iron, tin, tourmaline, aquamarine, as well as other metals and gems of lower tier. So that means you can get everything you could get with the lower pick. Uh, in addition to that, now I can do iron. Now I can do tin. Now I can do the other things needed. Which is good, so I'm going to actually take that copper pick, I'm going to move it right over where this stone pick was in number one. And now it's on my inventory, and that's the one I'm going to use. Just so now that, that stone pick. <laughs> yeah, basically, you don't really need it. Like I said, especially with the stone pick, because uh, it takes one dirt to make another one. Yeah. If you so. absolutely have to have it, so... So now that we can get tin, we can go get a tin axe and the materials you need for it. Like I said, tourmaline, that's now part of that pick. Um, the heartwood stays the same. But elemental tin and tin ingots, those are what you needed. So we'll go, we'd go out in the world and we'd find that. We're not going to necessarily show you all that right now. But that's where you're going to start. Yep. That's the best thing to do. First thing you want to do, make yourself a copper pick. Maybe make a couple if you feel like it. Then move on and make yourself a tin axe. And then with those things, you can move on to trying to get to a um, claim flag so that you can actually start with your own stuff now we'll go under that in the next video definitely but to show you how to do it if you want to get to that area you're going to be over here in your basic workshop and then you can see claim flags so there's your first one now i already have the stuff to do it as do i um, because it <laughs> happened to be aquamarine and iron and like i said i could get them from before but you have to make your first pick you have to make that copper pick to go out and get the iron and the aquamarine you need so there you go. That's it for our first video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helps you get started in beta, and we want to see you out there. If you like this video, please go ahead and give us a like on that. Uh, and if you want to see some more of them, um, subscribe. And that really lets us know that we're doing a decent job with these things. So we'll bring you making a claim and uh, how to get started with that on the next video. But until then, we'll see you guys out there, and hope you keep building. See you next time on Turn 8. Bye. Bye.